Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today bringing you a video on a game called Shelter 2. Now, Shelter 2 is a open world exploration slash survival game with a very unique aesthetic and the focus of the game is you are a lynx and you need to look after your little cubs. In fact, I think they're called kittens when it comes to... Yeah, I think a lynx, if they have um, offspring, then they're called kittens. So you need to look after them by hunting and giving them food. As such, you can get food by hunting or going out and knocking eggs off trees. And there is an owl in that tree. I wonder if I can actually get that. You do have hunter vision, which basically means you can see where potential threats and or food are as well as um, identifying landmarks such as over there and um, you can see where your cubs are, I, I keep calling them cubs kittens are and again other landmarks so there is a pack of deer over there so I'm gonna see if I can't sneak up on one or two of them and get a successful kill. Deer are the most, well they're the hardest um, hardest prey to catch in the game as they run really fast and generally you have a stamina bar in the bottom left and are they running already? Why are they running? Okay, that means I'm probably not going to be able to chase up with them, which means I'm going to chase off to all. Okay, never mind. I'm going to have to call that off because I am now being hunted by a pack of wolves. Wolves are the main threat of the game in the sense that they will hunt you down. They will hunt down your kittens and you, um, you can't really outrun them. You need to find a way to outsmart them I guess so I need to work out where they are and where they are so I'm gonna go back to this rock over here because I don't think they can jump up on it I've only encountered wolves four times so far so I should be safe I don't think they can get up here but if they can then I'm probably in a spot of trouble oh man okay this um it's pretty terrifying I really hope they can't jump I don't think they can jump, but if one of my kittens jumps down, then I probably lost it for good. Oh boy. You can tell they're panicking. Are they even going to leave me alone? Am I going to have to outrun them? They pretty much surrounded the rock. There we go. Okay, they're escaping. The pack led them, or the alpha led them away for some reason. Oh boy. Well, um, there's. Oh, that was a good introduction. There's the main threat of the game. And I'm not sure where they're going, it looks like they're going off to the mountains. But um, back to the focus of the game, you need to keep your kittens fed. And if you don't feed them, they will die. If you let them go to wolves, they will die. To give an example of this, I started with four kittens at the beginning of the game. They were really small, they all sat in my little shelter. And then there was a um, nighttime game, and there were a lot of predators out at nighttime. And I I was neglectful. I let one of them go off and get hunted off. I didn't even realise he'd gone oopsie, I just kinda killed a rabbit. And that alerted the deer, so I'm gonna have to chase down the deer now. Now, as I said, deer generally run faster than you. I dropped I bloody caught another rabbit. Deer are very fast and you have to get really close to them. You sometimes have to sort of cut angles and as soon as you get close you can pounce like that and bring down the deer. And as I said deer are the best things to catch in the game. And then your little kittens will absolutely love you for hunting it down for them and hunting deer is, is, is very um it's a very hard thing to do and it's very rare that you actually catch one it's even rare to come across deer but once you do it's very very rewarding and you can also eat the um the stuff you catch yourself if you if you um i can't actually do that because my kittens so I'll, I'll quickly hunt a rabbit rabbits are annoying so you always run at awkward angles you can hunt things and then eat them yourself to fill up your own stam stamina bar now um I've pretty much talked about what the game is and how it works. Now I will talk about, um, I guess my thoughts on the game. The game is very, oh there we go, they're actually hunting themselves now as they've grown up a little bit, they've seen me hunting a lot so before when they were just tiny tiny kittens they, I had to give them all their food but now they can hunt on their own. So um, as far as my thoughts on the game goes, I think it's it's very like it's very well made in the sense that it's it's a very w good looking game it's got very nice design i like the concept of it but as far um you see i'm i'm on thin ice here and i'm just tr uh, quickly drinking water to get them so they're not thirsty and fill up my stamina once more i feel as though this game is very Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the word here, and this is where this is where I'm probably gonna get dislikes and hateful comments. I feel as though the game is pretentious, in the sense that yeah, it's beautiful, it's got incredible music, it's got a, a great concept that hasn't been touched before in games. But as far as games go, 
games are, I, I don't know, games can be often seen as a piece of art, a piece of art that makes you think, a piece of art that changes the way you think about things, think of things like Proteus, uh, Gone Home, there, there's a lot of games out there, and a lot of games actually try to combine gameplay and art, such as Thomas Was Alone, that, that does a very good job at it, it's a simplistic concept that makes people think at the same time it's fun and it's challenging as far as games go. This is a game that, as far as gameplay goes, it's pretty lacking. You go around and you hunt, and that's pretty much as deep as it gets. What I've shown you in this video, I'm not sure how long it's been, it's probably been about 5 minutes, is, rep is pretty much representative of the entire game. There's a lot to explore, but um, all you can do in those areas is find collectibles and hunt down prey for your kittens to eat or for you to eat. And then, occasionally, when a threat comes along, you need to avoid it. And that is the cycle of the game. Eventually, your kittens grow up into full lynxes, and then you can start their own family tree. There's a family tree in the menu, and from there you can play as the lynx you've raised, and you can start their own families and see how long the family line goes down. But, as far as gameplay goes, that is it. So, so yeah, the game visually is really nice to look at. The soundtrack is really it's pleasing to listen to. And again, the concept isn't something that's been done before, and a lot of people find a deep connection to this game in the sense that it highlights the significance of family, or um, there's a lot to and you form an emotional attachment to your kittens, and then when you lose one it's shocking. But that's art, that's not gameplay. I just transitioned into a new area there, so sorry about that. But hopefully you can understand, or you can at least understand where I'm coming from when I do say that. I'm not bashing the game, I'm just saying that it is a very, I want to say, niche thing that only certain people will be able to respect. Certain people, unlike myself, I guess. In fact, no, I'll be honest, I've played this game for two hours now, and I, I find it enjoyable. I feel as though it is something I have enjoyed playing through, it's fun to explore, and um, it, it's it's unlike any experience I have encountered whilst playing a game, but if I was trying to get a game to play and enjoy, it wouldn't be this. If I did want a game to make me think, or um, to tell me a great story, then I'm afraid I would go for something along the lines of Bastion, something that gives a great story, it really does make you think, and it provides fun gameplay at the same time. I often do feel as though developers are going down the um, artsy, um, I'm going to use the word pretentious again, but pretentious route to attract to an audience, and I feel as though this is potentially one of those games. I could be wrong. This is just my opinion of a game, and my opinion is likely to be very different to yours. That's what makes humans different. Humans have different opinions about different things. But this is my opinion about Shelter 2. It's an interesting pickup, but it's not for everyone, and I'd say the developer um, he definitely did do a great job at making this game. I haven't encountered any bugs, it's been fun, it, It's the design is incredible, the sound and everything is great, and tackling a new concept like this, it's brave. That's how much I will say, and in fact, this is um, this is where I started the game. I haven't come across this place the entire time I played, because I left it as soon as I, um, as soon as my kittens grew up big enough to walk alongside me. This is where my shelter was at the beginning. So yeah. That was completely unplanned, I swear to god. But this has been my video on Shelter 2. I will be interested to see your thoughts on the game, and um, what you have to say about it, what you think about games that do try to be artistic, as opposed to actual games. So please do let me know, discuss in the comments, and please be like, um, please respect that your opinion is mostly an opinion. Some people can give facts, like, oh, the developer tried to do this, that would be a fact. But you saying, oh no, it's shit, that's an opinion. And that's something that is up, that's down to you, it's not down to, there's, there's my shelter, that's not, that's not representative of everyone else. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to say about Shelter 2, please leave a rating if you enjoyed the video, and I'll leave a link to the game in the store page, that was terribly worded, I'll leave a link to the store page in the description below, this is me Evans with Z111, and this is me out, peace.